Hey guys, um, welcome to the Geek Guys first video, and I'm here to talk about a lot of the features of Windows 7 that haven't really been brought to light, and are actually really good features. The first one is a smaller one, I'm only going to talk about it for a minute or two, is uh, the Windows Image Burner. Now, in any previous version of Windows, there has not been an Image Burner in it, and this is just like a nice little utility, it, it, it's nice to see. So... It, this is just an Ubuntu ISO. I, I uh, downloaded it last night, and here's the Windows Disk Image Burner. It has, it's not, it's not a great one. It doesn't give you a lot of options, but it gets the job done. This is better for people who don't really know what they're talking about when it comes to ISOs and speeds and everything. So it gives you an option to verify disk, which is always good. I always click um, that. It's as simple as putting in a disk and clicking burn. And if there's a problem, it'll let you know. It'll, it'll even tell you how to fix it as, much, as best as it can. But uh, this is just a great little thing to see from Microsoft. And the other thing, as I said earlier, is voice recognition. Now, um, to start a voice recognition, you're going to have to go to Control Panel. And in large icons, just click on Speech Recognition. And you're going to have to do the setup. Now, it does take approximately 25 to 30 minutes to finish the setup. But it's really worth it because during this time, the computer is learning how you pronounce and how you enunciate your words. So it can actually detect your voice and use it as best as it can and they did a great job with this so right up here is how you start voice um, recognition you're gonna click on this microphone so the, I'm gonna do three things the first one is opening up applications or closing applications and the second one is gonna be typing things with your voice and the last one is gonna be surfing the internet so let's start this up open notepad open wordpad Open Internet Explorer. Close that. Minimize that. Close that. As you can see, it was pretty easy to navigate through all of this. Um, you can open them up, close them, and even minimize them. So let's try typing a little bit. Um, it does not recognize a lot of words like Facebook. It won't recognize that. When you go try going to the Internet, it won't recognize Facebook. It won't recognize YouTube. And uh, last but absolutely not least, it does not recognize curses. You can go home and try this yourself, pick up a copy of Windows and do it, but uh, it just doesn't recognize curses at all. So let's try this out. It's actually really easy to type with your voice. Thanks to new technologies in Windows 7. As you can see, not only do you only have to you don't really only have to type one word at a time. You don't have to say it's actually really easy. You could actually say a whole sentence. Like, um, like let's try this one. Period. As you can see, it really is this simple. Period. It's also really easy to make new paragraphs and tabs. And it just, it's overall a really nice experience. And uh, I actually used this to type an essay a week or two ago, and it worked out fine. I mean, it was more of a test. It wasn't necessarily, it wasn't practical, but it definitely was fun, and I tried it out. It was, it was really a lot more than I thought it would be. Okay, the last one we're going to talk about is um, surfing the web. Now, it does work in Internet Explorer, but it does not support Google Chrome. Like, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Open Google Chrome. Two, zero. I mean, okay. Minimize that. Open Internet Explorer. Four. Okay. Yeah, I don't really use Internet Explorer that much. But uh, what happens is if I'm an Internet Explorer, I could just do this. I could click, I could say address bar, and it would take me to the address bar. Like, watch. Address bar. As you can see, it automatically highlights the address bar for you. But if I go to Google Chrome, it won't do the same. Address bar. See, it doesn't really know what it's talking about when it comes to Google Chrome. I really hope they add functionality for a lot of other things. But for now, it, it's definitely a great start. A few of the problems with this is, as I said earlier, it doesn't really recognize Facebook or YouTube. So if I try this, address bar address bar A okay I got it 
YouTube.com. YouTube.com. As you can see, it doesn't really recognize it as something that's there because, t um, in, in their defense, it's not really a word. I mean, I guess you could try this. Y o u t u b e dot com. Six. Okay. Enter. One. Okay. I mean, that worked, but if you're going to do that, you might as well just go address bar and, and just click there. I mean, that'd be a lot simpler, and it works fine. But uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Check back for a lot of new videos. I look forward to working with all of you.